and welcome in everybody glad you're with us MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this just about ready to go our starter in this one Kenta Maeda Chris you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been well he's been nearly untouchable kind of a silent assassin out there just he's goes to work ball. and guys look up it's deep into the ball game and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy so look for him to do the same thing today maybe go the distance maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W next offering in there for a strike gonna count one and two and another ball Wouldn't chase that time. Got it by him for the K. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Outside low. The count now two and two. That one missing inside. One out, base is empty. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start! Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Detroit, and on the mound now, Cole Irvin. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. To the right side. On to O'Hearn. One up, one down. Batting second. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. Batting second, a really important guy for them. Riley Green. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really ball. high. And another ball. The why to kick the pitch. Three. Got him swinging. 
Just a hammer, 12-6 curveball right good. there, Boog. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12-6 break, but he does, and you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. In the dirt, two and two. And down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Tigers are shut down there. Scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, left field. Green going after it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Adley Rutschman. All right, Boog, so I was scrolling through social media the other day, and a video of Adley popped up. It was a clip of him playing college football for Oregon State. How athletic is this guy? He tackled Stanford great Christian McCaffrey. Seriously, what can't Rushman do on the field? Carpenter makes the catch. Two down. That is it. The left field. Two outs, bases empty. Kowser. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Colton Kowser. That one to first. He takes Got it him. himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading now it's the right fielder, Carpenter. Kerry Carpenter. The right fielder. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And a one-two again. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now the rookie second baseman, Colt Keith. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Wouldn't chase that Damn. time. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you've got to figure it out quickly. Here's the first baseman, Andy Abanez. 
Two down, nobody on. In for a strike, and a count one and two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Tigers fail to make any noise. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third the inning and into the box for Baltimore. Kobe Mayo. Kobe Mayo. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Next offering is down low. Outside, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that is bad. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Bogey found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now, Jackson Holiday. <laughs> Right into the plate. And that's off the inside edge. And the count's full. Mayo, the board here at first with nobody out. And here it comes. Got him looking. And there's one down. James McCann in now. The pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. On a second, they get one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Nothing across here this half. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Here in Detroit. And now here is Jace Young. The lefty fires. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. And it's three and two. In the air, out towards right center. Santander in pursuit. He's got it. One away. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Digging in, Trey Sweeney. One down, base is empty. And this is inside. Still tied at zero, last of the third. And there's a foul ball. Got him. And there's two away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now the catcher up to hit, Jake Rogers. That's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Down in order go the Tigers. 
Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Gunnar Henderson. The one one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The Orioles still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Young drifts towards it, drops into the glove, and there's two away. Now back, the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander at the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And that one. Wrapped foul. Fourth inning underway, no score. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And we're still knotted at zero. Back at Comerica Park. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Parker Meadows. And now the lefty. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. To the right side, Holiday. To first, leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The lefty, number 31. Here's Riley Green. One down, base is empty. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two strikes. Got him. That's out number two. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. Late on that Two. fastball. I think he was One sitting ball. off speed there. Next oh, pitch is outside. Down. It's a good take. Two down, nobody on. Hey. Struck him out looking. Three up, three down for Detroit, and we are still scoreless. Baseman Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn. Righty delivers. Oh. You know, these Orioles just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. 
Ryan O'Hearn with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Go ahead, run on base. And next for the Orioles, Adley Rutschman. Next offering upstairs. And the righty deals. And another ball. Colton Kowser next to bat for Baltimore. O'Hearn gets his lead at first with nobody out. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Fouls one away and now three and two. At the belt and fires. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Adley Rutschman with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. First and second, no outs. Now the left fielder, Colton Kowser. Nope. Breaking ball That's inside. Inside. It's two and two. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Down the third baseman, Kobe Mayo. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Brown ball right side. And it's just foul. That was close. The pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. And that is a big first out. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jackson Holiday. Keith tossed the second, and that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. In the air, center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Colt Keith. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And a swing and a miss there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Mullins makes the grab on the run. And now, Andy Abanez. And the pitch. And now two and one. Just missed. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. On the ground, Henderson gets it to first. Inning over. Tigers are shut down there, and it remains 1-0. pitch out of the pen here on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget you better believe that it's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game I did it as a position player but for him as a pitcher I'm sure there's some nerves there probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight just relax and do what you're capable of doing And that one missing low. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Ricky Venasco getting loose for A.J. Hinch. The wind of the pitch. Fastball for a strike. Next offering away upstairs. On the ground to third, Young. In plenty of time to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Fast ball for a strike, and the count's even at two. And they'll do it again. And another ball. Sets him down looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, a tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Two outs, space is empty. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Missed with a changeup. Two and one. One strike. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down that time. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Orioles one and the Tigers nothing. here in Detroit. Here Here's the third baseman, Jace Young. The pitch. And fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two.
with the chase that time. And a swing and a miss. One out. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expecting to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. So digging in, Trey Sweeney. The shortstop takes the ball. The Tigers hitless so far in the game. Right through there for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In danger of losing the perfect game here. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. Next offering is in for a strike. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Holiday makes the play, and that is that. Down in order go the Tigers. They still trail 1-0. We go to the top of the seventh, and here is Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. The 1-1. That's, That's down and in. Got one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. No time is struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Now here is Ryan O'Hearn. And another ball. Next pitch is downstairs. One down, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Two down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Ricky Venasco gets the call from the pen on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing this time around for the O's, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows. Looking to get the tying run on base. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases. And pick up a run. 
Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two now. That one out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And here is Riley Green. The pitch. And a count one and two. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Kicks and fires. Out to short, Henderson. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. Ball to strike. Foul off down the right side. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Here's a one-two. And oh. another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Movement in the bullpen. CNL Perez is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Cano, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seventh. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Kerry Carpenter waiting to hit for Detroit. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. In danger of losing the no hitter here. And ball four to a board. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Cole Irvin, done for the night, didn't give up a hit, so maybe a tough decision to take him out here. New arm coming on when we get back. The new pitcher in the game, Gregory Soto. This is his first appearance of the season. First and second, one out. And up next for Detroit, Kerry Carpenter. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Kicks and deals. That misses the zone. Three and two now. Colt Keith waiting for a turn at the plate. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. And the pitch in the air left field down the line makes the grab felt such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and Second get three. the first hitter he faces just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in so up next Colt Keith and the pitch and a count one and two. Out to short. Henderson whips it to first on the run. In and over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. Tigers strand a pair. They're down one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Colton Kowser. 
I think when you yeah, contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing that's for that pitcher great. to think about. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ty Madden up and loosening in the pen. Number 73, also throwing. And a 3-1 on the way. And a foul ball. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Young drifts towards it. One down. The third base is Kobe. To the batter now, Kobe Mayo. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, that's ball two. It's softly on the ground, left side. Two up, two down. The batter number seven. Second base is Jackson Holliday. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Jackson Holliday. And that's nope, off inside, the two. inside edge. Two balls and a strike. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Jackson Holiday with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here is James McCann. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And he deals. Got him looking. That's the third out. And the Orioles leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, CML Perez. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Well, one run game, and now Andy Abanez. One one now. Bounce to the right. Holiday. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And he's now just five outs away. He's got a real shot at this thing. Yeah, Boog, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. At the belt and fires. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And now the shortstop, Trey Sweeney. Next offering is downstairs. Good That's eye in that three. spot. Jake Rogers waits on deck. In danger of losing the combined no-hitter. Swing and a high fly ball to left. 
And the inning is over. Staying in the game on defense, Justin Henry Malloy. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Pitching change here, number 73. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. This is off the inside. Now two balls and a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. No, that's not exactly what they're going for when they say one up, one down. Cedric. So, man aboard. Now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll eat at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. Well, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And now the lefty. Ground ball could be two. Keith. Off balance feed, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. Step off, throw to first. To second, and he's out. Two down, nobody on. Pitch misses, and it's three and two. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Now what is inside ball four, and I mean oh so close. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Outside low and a count to and one. That clips the corner. Comes a 2-2. Two -two. Goes down looking. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on base. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Orioles one and the Tigers nothing. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Craig Kimball. A chance at his first now save of the year. Number 46, Craig Kimball. Well, one run game. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. Hey, Chris. His big strength is defense, but it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you do. And a swing and a miss. One away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. A one run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning.
The one two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you oh. hope that he strikes the hitter out. And another ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the number two hitter, Riley Green. He's one out away from a no hitter. This could end it. And that one a little below the knees. And it's two and two. Righty to the plate. Strike three. Called. It's a no hitter. Well, no hitters are awesome, but there's something really fun and cool about a combined no hitter. What a great day to be at the ballpark. This team got the W. That's what's most important.